All right. Three on three sides of the coin this week. I have no idea where this whole thing went. It was just a toss up and uh, quarters were put into everybody but me. I sat, I listened, I observed. So tune in. It'll be worth your while. Oh, and you can't oh, see me, but yes. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. Huh? I said sorry. Michael is here. Just no Oh, video. yeah, Michael's here, too. But he like, disappears a little bit halfway through. Well, three quarters of the way through the show. The internet gods are leveling the karma of Michael. Yep. This is Three Sides of the Coin. Talking all things KISS. I want to rock and roll all night. You're listening to Three Sides of the Coin. Want to get your official Three Sides of the Coin logo and Shocker tee? Now you can. We ship worldwide. Get yours online at shop.threesidesofthecoin.com. All right, can we start the? We're all on either. Just it's now the Lisa show, Mike. Can you're, we you're can we start this train wreck? Yes. What are we talking about, by the way? So I'm we're going to figure it out once we get started. <laughs> hey everybody, <laughs> welcome back to Three Sides of the Coin. You've got the four, the four of us. This is the original band. We are the ones that matter. Right out of the box, I'll piss everybody off. We were supposed to have a special <laughs> guest today. We're going to reschedule it. Mike, you're echo, echo, echo. Yeah, I'm hearing echo through somebody. I don't hear anything. All right, well, let's keep rolling. And uh, our guest was using Mark's router, basically what it came down to. And it was windy. Very windy. Very windy. No, seriously, David from Kiss Replicas was supposed to join us today, um, but... Toronto is getting nailed with a, a really bad storm right now and lots of power lines down and his internet connection was just terrible. So we'll reschedule him, get him back on. We are going to have him discuss this. Yay! Sam. He's going to talk about bringing Sam back to life. So stay tuned. That'll be coming. Um, before we figure out I'll tell you what, I'm going to do some housekeeping, and while I do that, you got three guys and gal, rack your brain and come up with a topic so when housekeeping is done, we can talk about something. So, okay. as usual, don't forget, Three Sides of the Coin Radio, every Sunday night, 8 p.m. Pacific, the Monsters of Rock channel on Dash Radio. Just head over to threesidesofthecoinradio.com, Sundays, 8 p.m. Pacific, two hours, kiss music doesn't come around once a year. It doesn't come around and last for two weeks like somebody else's KISS channel. We're here There's every Sunday single Sunday. Good times. We don't want... What was that? I don't know. <laughs> that was weird. Any of your negative... Somebody else in the room. That's all away. Get away. Get away. We won. You lost with your negative bullshit. Well, Somebody's somebody... playing a video well, in the background. Second, they... That's Tommy. He's watching himself and masturbating. <laughs> Last week. Tom, Tom, Tommy, what are you doing? Meeting, uh, hanging with friends, whatever it is. Lots of things, lots of We're going to want to hear yours. Tommy, mute your mic. I don't know. It's like this. It's like my computer is just doing its own thing. It's just bizarre. Funny <laughs> too. I have taken over your computer. It, that, see, listen to that. It just starts up again because I've got. Sides of the coin. Talking all things. Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> I've got I've got the stuff set on a side so that I can do um, comments, and it just starts playing on its own. It's bad enough we have to record this once a week. You want to listen to it too? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know any of you people are here. I've uh, never. No, I honestly, stop, I've never listened to our show. Well, I wanted to stop you before you went any further because I think it's important to address what you just said because there are some people that are confused. So when Michael says we won, that means all of us, 
all the fans, all the listeners, we won. All of the people that listen to our show, that like this show, we won because KISS is doing fantastic the way it is right now. Right. Oh, so you're changing the topic in mid-sentence here. No, I'm clarifying because if I don't say something now, I'll forget about it and we'll move on to something else. Well, that's what, you know, a, a pen and note papers for, Tommy. You write down these little things to come back to. I can't even get the computer not to play the last week's episode. Give me a break. <laughs> God. <laughs> Folks, this is the truest example of a freaking train wreck of an episode ever that we've ever had here. Yeah. Meanwhile, my my internet's working perfectly. Exactly. <laughs> the guy that wore the bag on his head was pretty good too. <laughs> hey, we got Lisa with us. Let's 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 be happy. We got Lisa with us. That's right there. We literally got you her out of bed. Nice enough. Should go get another pop. <laughs> yeah. Soda. Pop. <laughs> that got, was just for your own enjoyment. She got <laughs> what? The show's we enjoyment. Enjoyed we enjoyed it. <laughs> um, yes, she literally got out of bed to I join did. us. I had my jammies on. I was watching Hangover. Ooh, I love that movie. I know Hopefully. it's just on. So and welcome back to the Mark Chikini podcast, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go, Tommy. Before we let you interrupt everything. Can I finish what I was starting to do here? So we talked about KISS Radio, our show, the best two hours of KISS Radio on the Internet. We've also got an Instagram channel now. It's pretty freaking cool. Tons of photos. Like last night I was posting photos from the Whiskey A Go-Go show. So just look for Three Sides of the Coin on Instagram. Give us a follow. And the last thing, brand new. Brand new. We've got a brand new contest. We give away so many cool things over over the, what, the last year. We're giving away a Sam T. Serpent t-shirt. Along with Click, Click T-Shop and Ed, who does these amazing shirt designs. Um, to celebrate Sam's return, we're giving away a t-shirt. The contest is open to KISS fans worldwide. All you got to do is put an email address in to enter. So just head over to threesidesofthecoin.com slash contest. Put your email address in, and we will pick a winner on March 15th, and you will be sent a Sam T. Serpent T-shirt to celebrate his return. Okay. Now, Tommy, do you want to take over this show like you were trying to do? Oh, I don't really feel like it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but there's something we forgot to mention that's extremely important. Uh, we are hosting a an evening with Mr. Bruce Kulik coming up in a, just a couple of weeks at the um, Outtakes Bar and Grill in New Hope, Minnesota. You can go to fanhqstore.com to get your tickets. It's going to be a meet and greet question and answer, uh, just like we did with Ace Fraley. So if you guys are in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area or within driving distance and you want to come up, this is going to be another one of those fantastic events. It doesn't start till 9 p.m. at night. So if you're driving from out of town, you could leave work late afternoon and still make it there on time. So again, go to fanhqstore.com for tickets. It's hosted by FanHQ. Sean Hagland, our friend who owns that, is the one who's always bringing these cool musicians in for these really cool special events. So if you guys can make it, we'd love to see you out there. I don't know if you guys saw, you know, Bruce shared that and somebody made a comment on there. It's like, wow, that's so cool. But I won't go to it because Three Sides is involved. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and, and Sean jumps in. He's like, well, G Tommy did an awesome job for Ace Fraley. One of the guys like, no, I, I won't do anything that Three Sides is involved in. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> okay. <All right>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm losing all kinds of sleep over here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Your loss, not ours. All right. So. Did you guys come up with a topic that we can talk about? Well, oh, wait a minute. What about comments? You're just jumping the gun. There, Mike. Just, just, this is the time do, in which we do them. Do it. Do it. Just do it and shut up. See, people, I need you to let the tool know that you actually enjoy hearing me read these comments from you. 
because you take the time to do it, and we appreciate it. So even though Michael is against it, I'm going to say that there are wonderful comments, as always, this week. A lot of a little more negative going on than, than positive, but we're going to stay positive here. Um, John Evans says, here, Vinny Vincent canceled for good, so that's positive. And then Illinois and Thunder. My favorite memory is learning the guitar solo to shock me when I was a kid. I really felt like I accomplished something. Yeah, I thought that was cool. Yeah. Just, it's, and this was on our show about Kiss Memories. And, you know, and being that Ace is such a sloppy guitar player, anybody could learn that. Right. You know, they really. Hey, all kidding aside, that was, uh, that is, is a musician growing up, when you learn stuff, and you, especially right when you get going, and because it, it wasn't just Kiss, you know, it was all the all the great classic hard rock bands. And you could get a lick down or a drum pattern Lisa's down. Lisa's got her glasses on, people. Lisa's got her glasses on. <laughs> Swing. Sorry, now, sorry for the interruption. Every time you do that now, I think of the photo I sent. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fun. I was like, oh, my God, is that me? That's not me. <laughs> She's got to stop and think. <laughs> I never owned a blue top. <laughs> how, she's she's like, how did that photo get released? I thought I saved that. Um, one more comment I want to read from John Ross, and this one's really important to me because he totally gets what the essence of the show was last week. And he says, as we grow older, we all experience more and more losses. People who care about uh, people we care about pass away. Our heroes pass away. Music is a portal that can take us back to their, our younger lives. Nothing wrong with that. If Kiss is the portal that helps you to re-experience good times, more power to you. He gets it. Yeah. That's it. We just want to celebrate the good times of Kiss, yeah. the good times of Kiss friends and family and friends. And And how can anyone be against that? Whether you like the current band or not, how can you argue with that? Oh, they can. I just don't get it. Why? I, I wouldn't waste my time doing it. Mm-hmm. I mean, again, we we're this new episode that just dropped this week. It's all about great kiss memories, and that's that's you know from day one. That's all we wanted to do on this show is share memories, share stories. You know, just be kiss fans. Yeah. Um. To Tommy's earlier point of interruption, the we won, because I'm getting these questions. What did we win? What did you win? Did you really win? It's like, dude, yes, you know what? Did. It's whatever it means to you. And whoever we is, whatever that means to you. It means KISS fans won. It means the band won. It means whatever you need it to mean. It, we're just saying, you know what? Nearly 50 years later... This band we fell in love with is still kicking ass, going out on top, and we're having a blast. And that's what we won. To everybody everybody who at some point in our lives came up and said, you know what, your band sucks, they can't play, they'll never be around, this is their final tour, they're not drawing anymore. Sorry, it's 2019, and we won. And all of you listening won, too that are fans of the band and enjoying what they're doing. Yep. So this includes you guys. It's not us as in our podcast. It's us as fans. Oh, no. Our podcast won like four years ago. Well, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother we won thing. But yeah. <laughs> that's a whole nother one. Mark, Mark is, Mark's got that look on his face. Like, Shit. Here we go. He can't, no, he can't get that picture out of his mind. That's what, look oh, at yeah, That was great. <laughs> Oh, okay. so, Tommy, where did you find that picture? What are you looking at? That's what concerns me. What? That picture that you sent. Oh, no, he's he's the guy Don't that blame Tommy. I can see some martini in Google, and that came up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. As she's googling her name right now to make sure. <laughs> Well, just, hey, just make you sure, you, that... Lisa, make sure you turn off safe search. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're tagged with L.A. guns in that photo. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So what are we talking about? I don't really? know. Did you guys come up with a topic? <laughs> and that's not the topic either. Just throwing that out there. 
you know, I'd, I'd love to throw this out there. Lisa, this, this, let's let's have you give us the topic. People always say, listen, I want Lisa to talk more. I want Lisa talking more. Oh, yeah, because I've had so many comments about how lovely my voice is. They want you to talk and, and be kind of breathy as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we can only see him from the waist up right now. That's all I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, we are so in the <laughs> we are so in the dumpster with this show. Hey, I, you know what? I, 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 I think I got, and this is you know, it's not something that's going to fill up a ton of time, but you know, we've all we the set list seems to be what the set list is, and I still have been a good boy. I have not. I, I again, I've only watched the opening of the first night I saw part of Detroit Rock City, and I did see Eric doing Beth. That's all I've watched, so I don't know anything about the stage but i do know what the set list is um add and subtract one subtract one add one um you know what would you add and what would you subtract you get one each and I, I guess we could go if you want i'll I have, start. I have to pull it up again I have to... <clears throat> um i i would like to see them take out hide your heart and mm -hmm. put in tears are falling What say you three? Good call? Bad call? Sure. Sure, that yeah. works. That works. Hide Your Heart is not one of my very favorite songs. You know, I, it's, I, I, I dig it like when they do it acoustic and stuff. I like hearing it on the cruise, but not, not there. So, um, and, and, and you could, if you wanted to add or subtract, you could, you know, use a, 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 you know, a song off one of the earlier albums or one of the later ones. Um, I, I will tell you, I'm really happy they're doing Say Yeah, and I was really hoping they'd, they'd throw Hell or Hallelujah back in. I was actually hoping for Hell or Hallelujah last night, but uh, they didn't really... Because I, I was hoping they'd change the setup a little well, bit. Well, and, and so to, to Mark's point there, last night being... And maybe we chat about this real quick before we finish going around the table here. Um, Kiss did their special Sirius XM show at the Whiskey A Go Go last night. And uh, I watched, I didn't watch the performance, but I watched the arrival and I saw a boatload of the photos. You know, the Whiskey Go Go was packed. 500 people is like capacity at that place. And, mm -hmm. and how they put any form of a KISS production on that little stage is freaking amazing. But they did. Look, There's not a lot of room to cool. maneuver around. Yeah. Um, the set list was not, it wasn't a full length show. They only did what, about 10 songs maybe? I think they played an hour. Yeah. So they. Hold on, and, Michael, an hour, and what song was omitted? Rock and roll all night. So, and, and you might know this, Mark, because somebody brought this up. When's the last time Kiss did a concert and didn't play rock and roll all night? Hmm. A full show? Any show, I guess. Any sort of performance. I don't think they played Rock and Roll Night at Blaze Fest, did they? I don't remember. I, I, you know, I, I, you know, I'm just sitting here. I can't. Why? What? What's the answer? Do you know? Oh, I don't know. That was somebody asked that. I saw that question posted online. Somebody was like, "Is this the first time since '75 that they've done no, a show? No. They didn't play Rock and Roll All Night." I don't think they did at the Blaze Fest. I could be wrong, you know. So, so before anybody, you know, and I know how much how, how much I say I love because I, I do. I love the Blaze Fest. Any of you guys can use your Google machine really quick. If you pull up that sets thing, you go to uh, Lisa. That, that. Can you can can, can can you Google set list? Kiss Villa Park Blaze Fest. April second. Is that what ninety four ninety? Hold on one moment, please. <laughs> Hold on one moment while I check your request. Ugh. Oh, my God. Look at that. God. I got my, my new slippers on. So. Oh, look at you. Sexy dad mm -hmm. slippers. Oh, totally. Dad. It's funny because I, I use my – I actually am wearing Nike tennis shoes because I couldn't find New Balance ones that I liked. And my, my kids are like, those are total dad shoes. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. They're comfortable. <laughs> they go perfect with your corduroy father knows best jacket. No, I don't. You know, I haven't worn corduroy since high school, and the reason I had to wear it then is because I went to Catholic high school, and you couldn't wear jeans, so I wore blue cords. So that was. Uh... What was this thing called? Blaze Fest. Blaze Fest, Fest. Villa Park, 
Illinois. Illinois. Actually, I actually have a bumper sticker for it here in the Kiss uh, Kiss Man Cave here. Of course you do. I also, matter of fact, I think I have a... 1994? Yes, probably. There it is. Kiss at WWBZ 100.3 Blaze Fest. Oh, there yeah. you go. Right. What's set list? Just read the whole set list, too. Okay. Uh, Deuce, Detroit Rock City, Calling Dr. Love, Strutter, Parasite, Got to Choose, Going Blind, Making Love, War Machine, uh, Love Gun, I Love It Loud, I Stole Your Love, Black Diamond, and Heavens on Fire. Ah, look at that memory. No rock and roll all night. And that was a fucking kick-ass set list. Really was. Now that is a set list. One more time, Lisa. Slow and breathy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is this show for Mark's personal satisfaction? It is now. <laughs> As he gets come, See, he put his... He put his yeah, foot I know, I know. To, yeah. yeah, he's trying to hide something. If he starts smoking a cigarette, we know. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so there, there's your answer. They they at least did a show back in 1994 where they didn't play rock and roll all night. But let's put it this way. It's, it's few and far between for them to not play rock and roll all night at a live performance. Um... I would say, and a lot of fans have made this comment, I would want at least one song added from Rock and Roll Over because there isn't any tracks from Rock and Roll Over in the set list right now. Um, it would be a tough call between I Want You or Making Love. Both good choices. Maybe I would go with I Want You just because of the what it means to me personally because it's the first song I ever heard from kiss drop the needle on um what would they drop i would probably go with say yeah <gasps> only only because of all of the songs that's just the one that i have the l least connection to i mean the sonic boom album just didn't it was okay it was good it just wasn't a great album for me so I, it would it would be no loss to me. Hey, I thought of another thing we can add to 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 our little discussion. What would you add? Because when and, and and I'll I'll give I'll give the I'll give it up right here, Mike. When you said I want you, all I can remember or what flashes back in my mind was the Hot in the Shade tour. Remember when, you know, because you didn't expect it. It just had Leon in the background, and then all of a sudden. I want you, the fucking logo. Oh, it was the shitty one, but it was still cool. Oh, you know? still watching that rise up? I, I literally almost fell off my chair because I didn't expect that. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever, you know? That was so fucking cool. Do you guys remember that? Oh, I, I, uh, I totally I remember. Because, again, that, that whole Hot in the Shade tour, everything from the opening with I Stole Your Love, where you were just like, what the fuck? Where did this come from? To you... You know, the, the Hot in the Shade with Leon, the Sphinx, huge, awesome production. And you go through this whole show, and there's no logo back there. And by the end of the show, you're, you're, you're already like, that's fine. There's no KISS logo. This is cool. Leon shoots lasers out. The band came out of his mouth. That was cool. And, and then all of a sudden, like you said, Mark, you didn't expect it. It just was gone and this logo rises up and it was just like i don't know as a kiss fan that was a sh just goosebump moment of like fuck yeah we're rising up out of the ashes of destruction here and the mighty kiss logo and like you said even though it was a crappy logo didn't matter because you just it, it i had you had no idea that was coming you know, that leads me, though, to believe, this is what I, I always have to tell people, and I'm sure you, you three have gotten this as well. You know, KISS is all about the bombs and the, you know, and it's not, the, you know, when I was thinking about it, you know, last week when we were talking about, you know, great moments, I mean, literally, the the Blaze Fest was just one of those shows It was just goosebumps, you know? I, I just remember that whole show just knocking me up. You know, Lisa just read the set list. 
that set list is is fucking incredible. So, you know, much like what you were just saying, you know, that was just the logo coming out. There was the guys were, you know, it was Kiss without makeup, but boy, you had that twelve year old moment, if you yep. know what I mean. When that when that sign came up during that song, that late in the game, you know, you still Kiss was still able to, you know, knock you out. They they, and, uh, they surprised the crap out of you. And you know, we gotta be honest, that was great because back then there you didn't know unless you went to another city and saw the show or had a good friend who saw the show beforehand and called you and told you about it, odds are you didn't get a lot of details back then. You didn't know what was going on with the KISS tour until it actually pulled into your town and you saw it. You might have seen photos of the stage, but you didn't know the whole ordeal because it just wasn't shared. It will, you know, it was tough to get that stuff. It was even, you know, it was even rare to walk into a record show and find a video of the whole concert. They just, you know, they're not, they weren't everywhere. They weren't all over the place. Um, so that added a lot to it because you just went in there having no idea what you were going to get out of that show. And I love the fact that they could surprise you. I agree. Lisa, Tommy, to add or subtract? Add one, subtract one. What song? I would subtract Hide Your Heart and put in She. Ooh. I love that song. That's my favorite kiss song. I would remove I Love It Loud, and I would There's replace a it with, <laughs> with anything. <laughs> Send in the clowns? <laughs> yes, at this point. That's that's you're you're sort of playing by by Mark's rules there of like all of a sudden I'm not gonna come up with a song I'm just gonna say anything you gotta come up with a song pick, pick come up with a song um, Strutter okay because yeah. I haven't heard him play that in a very long time when was the last time they played Strutter I'm just and again guys don't there's just gonna be some setlist geek who's gonna you know quickly check it. I'm trying to think though, because um, I don't think they did it on when we, you know, on uh, rock. On, or what was the? For, uh, Glasses are back on, people. Glasses are back seen. on. What's that? What's that? Glasses are back on. Uh oh. Wow, chicka, wow, wow. Just you know, for our <laughs> listeners who aren't watching, I'm giving you the cues here. Lisa just put her glasses on. There you go. No, Whoa. I. Don't, I, I Library. Yes, they haven't played Strutter, and you know, and I'm surprised too because you know, that's just such a classic, iconic tune. You know, when I think even even non fans like that tune. You know what I mean? That's it's just one of those songs that people got to give up. Matter speaking of which, uh, in the one of the latest issues of Classic Rock, I'm a subscriber, but let me tell you real quick, get so so pissed off. I, I just got like the. December issue now, but I have the March issue or whatever. You know what I mean? Can you fucking send them an order, please? It just drives me up the fucking wall. I've been a subscriber since when did that magazine start? Ninety eight or something like that. I've been a subscriber forever, and I'm like, can it's, I know it comes from another country, but mother scratcher, can you please get them in mother order? Mother scratcher. Yeah, I'm trying to look. People say don't swear <laughs> so much, though. You know, I'm trying to be a good boy. When do we but start listening listen to what people say? In in the latest or one of the latest ones, because I don't get them in order, unfortunately, um, they asked Joe Elliott like what his favorite Saturday night song is, meaning like what's your favorite like you know parties? And he said Detroit Rock City. I I kind of I was kind of surprised by that. He was just saying how much he liked uh, like that song, which I wouldn't have picked. I could not have seen Joe because knowing Joe Saturday, night, Saturday Night by the Bay City Rollers. But I like that song. That's a great song. I'm just asking if that would have been your choice. There's Mine? no judgment here. I'm just curious. Oh, I don't know. What, you know, because basically the, the, what they're saying is what's your favorite, like, party song? And I couldn't believe that his uh, his was uh, Detroit Rock City. Yeah, they said they asked that on KQ uh, last year. They're like, what's your ultimate party anthem rock song for a weekend? And some guy's like, turn the page by Bob Seger. Really? Huh? Yeah, I know. Like, I could see rock and roll never forgets or something, but uh, yeah, but 
not turn the page. Boy, I hate to party with that guy. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he reaches on. Bring the fucking razor blades. <laughs> and the downer. Oh my god! All right, so there you go. There's another three sides of the coin for this week. <laughs> we got into a whole 45 minutes here. Um, what else have we got to talk about? Oh, I had a guy call and leave. I know you. you had a guy. Oh yeah, talk about that, Tommy. All right, so we all run businesses, as you know. We all have jobs. This is something that we all get together and do once a week because we enjoy doing it. We don't make any money off of it. We're doing it for fun. We really enjoy it. And that's why we do it. That's not good or bad. It just is what it is. But I had a guy call me up and leave a message on my voicemail for my business complaining about how we are no longer fun to listen to because we're one-sided. And that we're nothing more than apologists. And he went on to say something along the lines of that this is um, traumatic for him and many other KISS fans because this is coming to an end. Look, traumatic. I'm happy I'm happy to have a conversation with you, but A, don't call my business. Okay? That's number one. And if you're going to call and you're going to rip us or complain, at least have the courtesy to leave your phone number and your real name. Because this, again, was left in an anonymous fashion. So, to me, it goes back to all the other YouTubers that don't tell you who they are. Or they have made-up names on Facebook. It's like, it takes no courage at all to hide behind a fake name. We're all out there. All of us. You know? And I just... I don't know. I, I just looked and I thought, am I mad about this? It's like, no, I'm not. I just feel kind of bad for him. That it's like... That sad. He went to great lengths to to contact you. Jeez. Well, yeah, and it's just it, it's like again he thinks it, it's it's that whole deal where everyone thinks that we're just shilling for the band or that we um, are scared we're going to lose whatever they think we have. And look again back to the point with with Mark and Eric. Okay, perfect example. Those two are really, truly friends. They've been friends for a very long time. I had to suffer through two dinners with those guys, listening to them talk about nothing but drums, Deep Purple, and Montrose. <laughs> That's the real deal. They really are friends. If Mark tells the truth about something that he doesn't care for on the show, Eric's not going to just like stop talking to him. And that's That's asinine. You know, they, like anybody else, can handle constructive criticism. And us as fans have the right to say, yeah, we like that tour, we don't like that tour. We like that record, we don't like that record. We like those costumes, we don't. That's part of being a fan. And I've spoken to all of them, and they've all been very open-minded about hearing what I've had to say. But it's all in how the, how the message is delivered. And, you know... Uh, some people can't seem to get past this idea that we are all happy, but we are. I am so excited, and I've talked to so many listeners of the show who are like, dude, I got my tickets for, you know, wherever, and I'm so excited to go, you know, and I'm going, one guy told me the other day he's going to nine shows. So there's a ton of us out there, and for the few of you that just don't get it, it's okay. You don't have to. But I don't feel like I have to explain myself or, you know, worry about what you're thinking. And, and, and all of the stuff about us losing this, that, or the other is just plain nonsense. Well, so I just, I don't know. It, I, it, I, 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 I think for, from with what you're talking about, to me, the, the, the ultimate most important takeaway is what we're doing on this show as KISS fans, you're welcome to hit up our Facebook page, our YouTube, anywhere else you want, and 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 talk to us like a respectful adult. If you don't act like a respectful adult in those channels, you risk getting your ass booted just because we have higher standards. But don't fucking cross the line and reach out to us on our personal emails, at our works, hitting up family members. I mean, we've talked about this over the years. We've had some serious stalkers and some serious people hating on us. 
And when you cross the line and take it into businesses and friends who have nothing to do with this show and family members, you've got a problem. That's a real problem. That's 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 a stalker issue. Okay. And yeah. and you you risk you I mean I, l- listen, you risk the the consequences of continuing to do that of what happens to people who stalk people online so you know stay within the kiss world if you if you hate us that much just hate us in the kiss world well and that's the other thing like i said we don't do this for any monetary gain we do this because we're enjoying it and anyone that messages me on Facebook, I will answer. I answer every single person. I've had to block a few because they've gotten a little too crazy, but I'll always answer you and I'll always have a spirited debate with you. And I don't care whether you like us or you don't. But like Michael said, don't start taking our business and our friends and family into this because I had to shut off my Facebook account for people posting on my page simply because I don't want it to turn into a KISS site. If you guys want to go and post photos and and memes and video and all that, great, man. There is a ton of really great KISS Facebook pages that you can join and that you you can enjoy any era of the band, whatever you want to do, but don't post the shit on my page because I have friends and family and clients who know me as you know, a music lover that shoots photos but does real estate, but I don't want I don't want a kiss page. That's that's what this is for. What we're doing here right now. And that's about it. Because when I hang up here tonight, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna do some work on the house and have some dinner, maybe watch a TV show. I'm not gonna think about the band for the rest How of the can night. You say that. You're supposed yeah. to be twenty four seven thinking yeah. about the band. Gonna... We spend a couple hours a week and and that's it for me. I mean that's plenty and like i said if you want to message me please do i'm more than happy to have a conversation i'll answer everyone that emails me or not emails me but facebook's me that's the easiest way to reach me what tommy just said i just want to piggyback on that a little bit because over the weekend uh, i was out of town and i had a little bit of downtime and i started going and answering some of the ims that i've gotten because i've ton just much like just like you guys do i get a ton and and one guy uh, sent me a bunch of photos and then he, at the end, cause I mean, it was literally, it was like a week or week or two ago and I finally got to it and he's like, Oh, I thought you were upset. And I'm like, look, you don't know me. I, well, you know me from the show, but I don't know you. And I get to these when I have time and I, I it's not that I didn't appreciate it. It's just that, you know, if <laughs> my family's, I am in me and businesses, I am in me, because I get a ton of business stuff cause I'm a contractor. I'm taking care of that first. I, I, you know, um, I much like you, Tommy. I try to get to all of them, but and, and look, I appreciate. It. I, I love the fact that you want to share your passion of Kiss with me. I look forward to it. But much like Tommy just said, it's not that you don't want to. We're not getting paid for this, and I, I, it's just something we do for fun. So when I get a chance to to answer your you know your questions and stuff like that, I'm gonna do it. It just. You know, I when I get time, and and I'll be quite honest, I'm a very I, Tom, Tommy, and Tommy and I talk a few times during the week. And Tommy, when do you talk? When you're on a way, when you're on your way to another showing, and I call you when I'm on, you know, on the way, you know, to go look at a job or something, because that's when we got some free time in the car. That's and that's that's far few and in between too. So that's how kind of no, busy our lives. Me, I feel very slighted right now. Yes, I mean, Lisa's in another freaking city. Well, right? Le- well, so you know, I, I, needy. I wanted to bring this up, though, because I just ran into this today, Lisa. Somebody oh. decided to come on YouTube, and I think I've already deleted the comment and blocked the person, started attacking the three of us, and then goes, oh, and that girl who's just a freaking kiss groupie. <laughs> and, and I was just like, shut up. Show okay. some freaking respect. Lisa is not a kiss groupie, you know. You, so it, it's just the it's just the way these sadly adults present themselves that causes this to happen. Um, I and well, I, I, well, I, the I people gonna, who I am are generally all very nice and positive. And it's just that you know I don't have time to have a long debate you know i try to give them a thumbs up or 
cool or if it's something I can help them with quickly. But, you know, again, if, if this was a job or if this was something that, you know, I, I guess other than a hobby, then, then yeah, maybe you'd be able to give it a little bit more time. But this is, again, this is my bowling night. And like I've said so many times, I'm, I, we're not part of some podcast brethren and we're part, I, look, we're three sides of the coin. This is something I do once a week. And when it stops being fun, I'm going to be done with it. And that's it. That, it really goes no farther than that. It's, again, it's bowling. It's, it's, I get to see my friends every week. And well, and, and, I, yeah. and I think you're, you, you've all made fair points here too, that I'd like to expand on is also too, if any of you guys are listening, if you work regular jobs where you know you're going to be somewhere from say nine to five all right but then you have your evenings free it's different than my life because like we've had I was telling them about 30 inches of snow here in the last 10 days i had to get three listings on last week go on a couple of listing appointments i sold three houses and i was covering for my son adrian who was still out of town so when you add all that up and then you add snow to the mix, it takes me twice as long to get to the showings, takes me uh, an extra day because I can't take photos when the snow is coming down, things like that. So it puts us behind. So to Mark's point, if you message me and I don't get back to you right away, it's not that I'm ignoring you. It's not that I'm upset or angry or that I don't care. Or I don't want to talk to you. Sometimes it takes me a while to get to you. So like I get people who send me songs, all right? Great. Thank you. I'm always happy to listen to the music. But when I tell them, look, I can't do it for a week or so, some of them look at me like I'm nuts. Well, it's like, no, because I'm right in the middle of something. So either if you send me something, if you truly want me to, to listen to your song with an open mind and give you, you know, constructive criticism and, and tell you tell you about it, I'm happy to do that. But it's got to be on my time because I can't do that while I'm trying to concentrate on writing out a contract. So lots of times when I'm on Facebook, I'm not really on Facebook. I'm updating something with an ad or I'm updating one of my uh, houses that I have up for sale on Facebook or something like that. So there's business lots of times tied in. I'm not just sitting there scrolling through the feed. So please understand, we want to talk to you. Send me messages. I'd love to hear from you. Just give me time to respond. You know, guys, one thing that I th I was just thinking before we even got into all of this that I felt we maybe needed to do is because we're into like our sixth year and we've got so many people who are new to the show that haven't been around since, you know, show one, was a quick explanation of what Three Sides of the Coin is. Okay. And, and, and why I say this is because I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get more and more see more comments and more questions of like, you know, you guys don't fairly represent all sides. You don't fairly represent all KISS fans. You don't, you know, you're not fair and balanced. You're not f reporting the factual news. And here's, here's, here's the, the short on all of that. We aren't objective. We aren't fair and balanced. Nope. This, this show from day one has always been, and it was always our desire, to be subjective. And so for people who don't understand the difference between those two words, objective and subjective, objective means fair and balanced, and you try and report all sides without... With in, personal opinion. With no personal opinions in there. Subjective is personal opinion. This show from day one was three guys, now three guys and one gal, giving you our opinions on KISS and what we personally each like and dislike. This isn't about, and it's never been about having, you know, a fair and balanced debate representing all sides of the story. We're not a news news podcast. We're not a factual podcast. We're 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 a bunch of Kiss fans who get on here and said, you know what? We're going to tell you what we like. You don't have to agree with it, but it's our opinion, meaning it is not objective. It is not factual. It will never be fair and balanced. We have never claimed to be that. We've never claimed to represent all sides of the story. We've never claimed to be a fair and balanced podcast. We are an opinion of what we like. 
And if we love this version of KISS and all versions of KISS, that's what we're going to say. We're not going to do a podcast to give the haters a fair and bad. First of all, we've invited haters on, and they've never accepted the offer. So just let that sit out there for a, for a moment or two. I mean, we was it the last one? You're, had Zach ever taken up your offer, Mark? Of course not. That geek. Of course not. And, 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 and not to beat a dead horse, and for the ones who don't understand, we had somebody on here who was uh, going on another site and saying all these crazy things about us. Um, and all, I, I just casually offered him, like, look, dude, just contact me again because we don't, well, we're pretty sure we know who he is now. But, um, you know, you know, that's kind of goes with like Tommy was saying earlier. You know, we don't hide behind, you know, Raven Killer number one on, you know what I mean, make up some stupid name. I'm Mark Cicchini from Detroit, Michigan. I'm really, really easy to find. Obviously, check my IMs. <laughs> Lots of people I've never met or talked to before. Yeah. But, yeah, and I'll try and try and get back to you. Um, I, I said, and I know he knows about it. Um, look, man, come on. You said you have all this proof. Well, here you can, man, you can shove it down our fucking throats right here. You can be the hero of the fucking cesspool, the fucking hero, because you'll be able, you'll be the one to finally shut those guys up and, and tell them exactly the way, you know, how, you know, we're strong arming and we're lying. All this shit that he's, you know, he spews out. Well, how come you haven't come and done it then? Oh, we know why. Because you're lying, <laughs> you lied to everybody over there. Uh, and and by the way, uh, Zach, you're still welcome to come on and just get a hold of me, man. And uh, we'll get you on, and you can you can be here, and you can show us, uh, you know, how it's done, I guess. And and you you can be the, the the truth teller, and you can say how we did all these things, which the only person who know, who thinks that way is you. But you know, but anyways, you know that that's my whole sort of point with. With, you know, with that sort of thing, is that uh, you know, it 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 just just remember every time you listen, we are just giving you our personal opinions of what we saw. If we love what's happening, that's not because we're kissing up to anybody. It's because we love what's happening. Well, Michael, let's go. Let's go a step further. I mean, if you could literally look around my my office and stuff. Because people, oh, you just care about the current band. Well, I love the current band. I make no, you know, no bones about it. But, you know, I I've loved the band since 1974. And a quick look at my collection, you'll see tour posters from the Animalized tour, alongside with tour posters from the Asylum tour, along with the tour posters from the Hot in the Shade tour. Ad nauseum, I collect them all with the same passion because it's Kiss. It has nothing to do with. Tommy Eric or Mark St. John or Eric Carr for that matter. The, as they say, anything with the funny S's on it, I want. You know, that's what I love. I love the band Kiss. And do I like some eras better than others? Yeah. You know, that's that's just is what it is. But look, it, 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 honestly, if I thought this era sucked or if I thought any era sucked, I, I would have checked out. And like we've talked about, uh, you know, we've talked many times. I never checked out. I never checked out as a fan. I, I went to every tour. I, and that's another thing. People are like, oh, you know, you go to the shows. Now I'm like, well, where were you when I was going to multiple Crazy Nights tours? I hated the fucking album. I didn't like it. But Kiss was still touring. If they're in Toledo, I'm going to go see them. If, you know what I mean? Same thing with the Hot in the Shade tour. Well, you know? I, I hated that. I wasn't crazy about that record. But I liked the tour because it was Kiss. You know, and no different than in the reunion tour. I mean, fuck, I don't want to... Cleveland multiple nights, driving to Pittsburgh, driving to Chicago, driving to Toronto. I mean, look, you, you just went with your buddies to just go see Kiss. And guess what? That continues on to this day. That, so what's what's different? Nothing. I'm, I, I was supporting Kiss financially and passionately ever since I could get, you know, had the keys to, a, to get into a car and maybe drive to a city i don't normally you know a, a go to to go see kiss this none of this is new man this has been going on my entire life well and, and also too i'd like to add a couple of things you know when michael and i started this i remember the first episode saying we were saying to each other we were so excited that it, we were putting it on live um we're putting it up and we're like god do you think we'll get 100 people to to watch 
I mean, we were just like, and all of a sudden, I think within a week or two, we were at like a thousand or something. We were just like, can you freaking believe this? Now, Mark, Michael just shared a stat with us um, a week or so ago that in that in the last 28 days, people have listened to 1.2 million minutes of our podcast. That is like head exploding, mind blowing. All right. We've never told you not to listen to other podcasts. We've never told you what you should or shouldn't but, like. But others, others have said, don't listen to us. We don't care, which gets me back to the whole brethren thing. I don't, I, I have zero interest, love or hate for anybody who does a podcast, whether it's kiss related or not. I, and speaking strictly for me, don't care. Go listen to the other ones. Have fun. Get us. If you enjoy this shit, go. Go and listen to it. But I, I found it funny. I don't mean to cut you off time, but I've seen where other ones have said, don't listen to them. These guys are idiots. We've never said that to, about anyone. You guys want to go listen to other podcasts? Go listen. What do you think? We're going to fucking go, oh, no. We're gonna, you owe us your devotion? No, you don't. We don't care. We're going to come here every week no matter what and just have fun. And again, as soon as it stops being fun, see you later. Yeah. And, and and also, too, I, I think that the whole idea behind it was talking about KISS and talking about KISS fans. So I know some of you who haven't tuned out at this point are going, oh, God, they're doing it again. It's like, well, every once in a while we have to talk about this because this is also part of being a fan of the band is that we're so incredibly divided. It just so happens the four of us all like what's going on right now. We still have our differences of opinions about eras and songs and things. And we've talked about all these different issues that everyone says is taboo, but we've discussed it. You're just, some of you, very few of you are just not paying attention. And the 99% of the people that are listening to our podcast, thank you. You guys are freaking awesome human beings. And I'm so happy that you tune in or listen every week or on occasion and enjoy the show. Um, but if I only liked Gene, Paul, Peter, and Ace, if, if I only liked that version, why would I do this podcast? You know, I don't get it. I, I want to talk about everything. And I want to talk about the fans and my experiences and all the stuff that we discuss. And that's what I think makes us unique. Well, here's here's the thing, though, Tommy. When last summer I was at, I sat on a um, podcast panel at a radio convention, Come and one of, one of the things I said was, um, "Everybody's got a podcast in them." Yeah. I'm sure I was making a. I'm sure I was going to make a great and valid <laughs> point about. It was so good, Michael. It shut all of your equipment off. That's yeah, how good it, it was. exactly. That you know what that 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 was. That was Gene and Paul going, shut these guys up, kill the connection right now because we're paying them. That that you know, that's the that's the other let's just put that to rest. We are not on anybody's payroll and have never been on payroll. I will tell you this right now. If somebody wants to put us on payroll, please contact us. We will accept payroll in a in a heartbeat if somebody wants to pay us. But we're not on anybody's payroll. No, we're we're not afraid of pissing anybody off. It's it's always been just what we think as Kiss fans. That's all this is. This is all it's I, about is what 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 we love as Kiss. You can love something completely different, and that's a hundred percent great, and that's a hundred percent fine. But you know, don't don't put don't put expectations and words in our mouth of what you think this show should be about because that's that's not it. It's we're, We've been very open from day one, and we're very honest about it. This is just what we like, and, and we happen to like what's going on, but we also, over many episodes, have talked about things we don't like. Yeah. If, if, and it seems like they they breeze over that. And and in case you weren't taping this, Lisa asked me after we did a couple of shows if um, we didn't get more listeners if we would have kept doing it. And I said, absolutely, because we were having fun. And now what's changed is we're still having fun, but probably even more fun now with, with uh, Chunky But Funky and Lisa. Uh, but like I said to him, it's like, standing at Mount Everest. How high can we climb? Can we get to the top of this mountain? So the radio show, 
all of the different things that the events we've been invited to host or be part of and all of these cool things just keep happening and so to me now it's not about the listenership I mean I want you guys to come and listen to the show and enjoy it this is more about a quest for fun like going to Wally World how far can we take this because it's it's really cool and very gratifying to go dude can you believe we just pulled that off oh I know, I, I know what I was saying I was talking about how I was at a panel talking about how everybody's got a podcast yes. in them. Conclave. So, so he, yes. So here, here's the point of that. If you have such strong feelings about the original four and that you only like that or that you only like Vinnie Vincent or that you only like the non-makeup era, whatever it is, that's 100% great. Do a podcast. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I'm not saying that to be a smart ass or anything. Do it. Everybody's got a podcast in you. Don't tell us to change our podcast to support your views and your opinions. Because we get we're, that a lot. Yeah, we get that every freaking day, nearly. Of do this because you're not being fair to what I think and what to other fans. Oh, it, and as Tommy started off, it's very traumatic. You know what? It's not my trauma. It's not my trauma. Okay. We're doing what we love. We're talking about what we love. Start your own podcast. It is, I'll if if you've got questions on how to do it, message me. I'll tell you how to do it. You can start a podcast in a matter of fifteen minutes for free. I'll tell you how to do it. I'll tell you where to go post it. Go start your own podcast and express your own views and express your own opinions. It's yeah, that like, simple. Yeah, and and take a take a look at like the Loki and Jabroni show. Chris Burns is a, is a a listener of ours, super nice guy, and he and some of his friends put together a podcast that they do called the Loki and Brony show, Jabroni show. And then um, uh, Brandon Garcia just sent me a message that he now was so inspired after listening that he's getting back into radio. I don't remember exactly all the details, but there's oh, yeah, that was cool. I saw it. Huh? I saw that. That was cool. Yeah, there's people out there doing it. So get out there and do it. Jump in the water is fine, you know, but make it your own and do what you want to do. Remember what Lemmy said, run it up the flagpole, see who salutes. Exactly. Because that's the way, and and I was just reading a a great, I'm a big Motorhead fan, and and I was just reading a a story because, you know, Fast Eddie is one of the guys we lost last year. He was the original guitar player from Motorhead. Um, look at a band like Motorhead. They, you know, they came about, you know, in 1980 and think, you know, think of what was popular at the time. You know what I mean? Certainly wasn't that kind of music. I mean, those guys really, you know, uh, sounded like a biker gang and Lemmy never had a voice that, you know, you're going to con- confuse with Steve Perry from Journey, which was big at, you know, that kind of stuff big at the time. But you know what? They ran it up the flag and enough people saluted it, you know, and uh, I was one of them. You know, I, I like that aggressive sort of sound. And they really launched almost another genre of music. You know, they made heavy metal heavier. But and if you really are a big fan of, of, of theirs, you, you realize they're really not a heavy metal band. I mean, there's a lot of even Lemmy used to say they weren't. Lemmy would say we're a rock and roll band, you know. And, um, you know, if you study their music, it, it, you know, he's, he's, he has way more in common with Chuck Berry than, you know, than he does uh, Metallica, if you know what I mean. Um, so that's, that's real. I, it's, I'm glad that you guys, because you're the originators of the show, um, I'm glad you guys feel that way because that's the way I feel each and every week when I, when I join you guys. You know, I join just to have fun and, you know, I was joking to sit here and make fun of Tommy. I mean, and that's... I mean, <laughs> you know? it, 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 it is true. We literally have a blast every week doing oh, this. Was, was it? Oh, it was when Joey was on, he's like, boy, you guys should broadcast this stuff because trust me, what do we do for the first 20 minutes before we hit record? Laugh, yeah, right. Laugh and bullshit and have fun time. So... It, it 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 is nothing but fun for us to talk about what we love. That's it. That is the whole premise of this show. It is not. We have never wanted to be a news news show reporting facts. Yes, there are times during shows where we report latest updates on Kiss and this is happening, and that's happening. But we have never tried to be the go-to source to get KISS news. We've never tried to be the go-to source that represents the views of all fans. That that's It's stupid to think you could do a show like that. I mean, 
good God, in the KISS fan world, there's so many competing views. You could never, you could never cover everybody in one, in one show. Um, so we do what we love and what we, what we think is great. And if you want to do something different because you don't think we're doing it right, please go for it. It doesn't, we're, we're not scared. We're not threatened. It's not a competition. This isn't, this isn't one podcast versus another podcast, although others will act like it. We just, we're not. We, we honestly, I don't know how to say this with any more sincerity. We honestly don't care. We don't care. Well, like, everybody who does that, everybody does a podcast. Hats off to you for putting your free time and energy into doing that. That's great. I think it's amazing, but this isn't us versus them. I don't, you know, to to walk well, around like, with targets on our back all the time is a little f- crazy, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Well, take take the FAQ podcast, for instance. Okay, we we like Julian and Lonnie. I mean, those guys are great, and, and God bless them. Lonnie you know, auditioned they, for Mark Spot. Yeah, they do a great podcast. The only issue we have is with the actual message board, which is a whole nother deal. But that's about it. Other than that. I got no issue with any of those podcasts, and please go out and support them. Because if you guys want to listen to ten or twenty a week, great, go for it. Just enjoy it. My goal is to have fun doing this with my friends and have a good laugh, and hopefully we make you laugh along with us. And we hopefully we make you yell at the screen too, because I don't want you to agree with everything we say. I want you to disagree. It's good for you to have your own opinion and say what you think, because you're not wrong. The the thing that I want people to keep in mind that some people don't seem to get is everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but not everybody is entitled to their own facts. There's the difference. And And let me add, you have to present all of that in a mature and respectful manner. That that's part of why so many people will get blocked and banned. It's just it, you just you just act like a three year old when you when you come up and go, you guys are a bunch of douches. Bye. I don't care what the rest the rest of your message could have been very well thought out, but when you open up by calling us douches, it's not even worth holding the conversation. You're gone. Well, Mike, go go back to that. That I don't know if it was today or yesterday. You sent me. I mean, to beat a bit of a dead horse, but this is to to make a point. You know, over the last couple of weeks, we've met, we've mentioned it a couple of times. The whole revisionist history thing. But didn't somebody just post something about um, the characters again this week, just saying how wrong we were about it? Going, dude, how could you even sit at the keyboard and write that? Wait. We already told you that a coin did it in '76. If you want to look, go, go look. Why do, we don't have to hold your hand? I mean, the guy basically wrote in and said something like, you know, Eddie was right, and you know, they're just this is like a new thing that they're doing. They're, you know, because they because Peter and Ace aren't there. It's it's all about the Catman and the Spaceman. Now I'm like, huh, huh? This isn't new. This isn't new at all. And, you know, again, we, we presented facts, and then and, and that was basically Michael's point on the thing. He's like, um, you obviously didn't watch the show or listen to it. Why? Where are you getting this information? That's just weird to me when that happens, uh, especially, like I said, when we beat a dead horse like we did, and then you still get people who write in that, why... Again, I can't fathom the idea of somebody sitting there writing into a, 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 a podcast or <laughs> something like that. I, I just, at, at the end of the day, what it comes down to is remember, you can't change our minds because we're just giving you our opinions. So I don't know what you're hoping to achieve by trying to repeatedly convince us that Kiss is lip syncing. It's not going to change my opinion on Paul or the band. It really isn't. You're beating a dead horse and wasting your time. It's my opinion. I like it. I accept it. Mark has his. Tommy has his. Lisa has hers. Where do you have an issue with us being happy? Is 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 that the problem, that we are happy and you're not, and therefore we need to be unhappy? If If, if that's what's driving you, you got to look deeper because you got bigger issues in your life if that's what it's about. It really is. If 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 you're going to take your own personal time and track down Tommy's 
contact information at his office and leave a message for him. Really? Really? I mean, I, I, I don't, that's not important to me. I wouldn't waste my time doing that. So, you know, I guess everybody just step back a little bit. We're just a bunch of KISS fans talking about the band we love and what we love about them. That's it. That's it. Yeah. It's a pretty simple and, show. And if it wasn't fun, we wouldn't be doing it. And it almost wasn't for a while. And we were all about ready to implode. And then we solved that problem and everything's been good since. Mitch quit you know? and he saved yeah. three sides but by doing that. Better, to, to chime in here too, uh, you know, cause, because trust me, this week we're going to get a few of those comments. Why do you guys talk about this? Well, to, you know, it, to streamline this, like Mike said, start your own. Get about 300 and some episodes in, get almost 6 million views, and see if you'd spend time talking about <laughs> this. There's a reason we are, you know, because we do hear from you guys, and we want to hear from you guys. But sometimes you just, you have to, it's obvious some people don't understand the show. Because as we get more viewers, and as the, the viewership gets bigger, and as we continue along, you know, a lot of people, I because I, I've run into this. I'm not, I wasn't the original third host, but I've had people who didn't know that. And there's, there's, and those are people who have said they've listened, oh, I've listened to you for the last year or two, you know? Well, I'm not. Go back. I mean, Mike has all of them. You go, go back, but that's the whole thing. You know, there's a reason of the trajectory of the show. And, you know, as it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and, and we, we love the attention and we love you guys watching the show, but. You know, every now and then we got to break this down too, and um, it just is what it is. And so. it's and it's also it's very cathartic for all of us. Yes, if you intend us, and if you intend for us to continue to be one hundred percent completely honest with you, this is part of how we do that. We need to have these types of discussions, and this is no different than anyone else sitting around a table with their friends talking about the band. Eventually, this type of subject or something similar to this will come up because every one of us as rock fans know some people that are like what we're speaking of. And again, 99% of you guys are awesome. And these people may not even be regular listeners, but they're listeners enough that they're making comments. So we hear some of those things. And other people are like, well, just let it roll off and just don't pay attention to it. Well, we don't. I mean, we pretty much do let it roll off but we still have to explain this to some people now and again so that you can understand our point of view that's really what we're sharing we're not giving these guys that hate us an extra place to be heard we're just simply sharing with you that you know when you cross a line like this this is completely out of line and most of you will probably be living some type of messages saying that well yeah, I mean, I would never do that. And it's like, I know, of course you wouldn't, because you guys are normal. But the point is, is there are people that will do that. It, it's it's a crazy world, the Kiss Army. It It's, you know, I can say that when Tommy and I started this, I never imagined any of this <laughs> as an end result. I knew Kiss fans were crazy because I'd been dealing with them since 95, but this is a whole new level. And it's really, and I, and I think everybody who listens will agree, in the last three months or so, it's really gone to a whole different level. I mean, I'm seeing so many people talking online. It's like, why are so many people angry and mad? And can't we just all be happy and, and remember what we love about the band? And it's like, yeah, that, that's what this is, is, you know, I don't know. Some people take it a bit too seriously. Yeah, I just want to be on record to say I'm not one of them. <laughs> no, Mark, 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 Mark isn't. I mean, listen, we've we've all at one time or another sitting here and said, you know what, can't do the show. Got something to do with family. Got something to do with work. Something more important came up. Hell, yeah. last week I had to leave early. I had stuff to do with them and Liz. And Listen, they, I, you, know, you know, this this will freak out KISS fans. I wouldn't have considered going to the Vancouver show because my daughter, Thule, was doing a performance at her, L, her, at her pre-K school where she was given a, a reading on stage. I'm sorry. I don't give a crap if it was the last show KISS ever did. I'm going to go see my 
five-year-old daughter perform before I'll ever go see Kiss perform. You're a good daddy, Mike. So, I mean, well, this, this, I, is, this is what, this is all of us are sitting here. It's like, we have an understanding of what's important in our lives. Yep. Oh, my God, Mike. You know what? Just to, just to hammer that home, especially about nowadays. Um, Kiss is going to be in Michigan on uh, on March 9th uh, at, in Grand Rapids, a place I've seen Kiss many times at uh, at Van Andel. Van Andel. Um, but guys, uh, I'm going to be in Florida watching the Red Wings play the Tampa Bay Lightning with my son because that was a weekend he could get away. Would yeah. I like to go see Kiss? Yeah, but you know what? If I could go see Kiss a couple hour drive away or go down and spend a weekend in Florida with my son. That's a real easy decision. You don't even have to think about that. No. I'm going to I'm having a ball with my son, man, because uh You're making memories, Mark. Yeah, that's way more important to me and you know, and uh, matter of fact, I'll be seeing Kiss a few days after I get back from Florida and um, you know, that's good. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because when that show came up when I was looking at, you know, the initial itinerary, I'm like, "Oh, man, I'm certainly going to cuz I a I love Van Andel Arena. It's a great place." To see any concert, um, but it's just a short drive for me, just a couple hours across. But then when my son informed me of when he had time off, I'm like, "Fuck, you know, <laughs> let's go do that." You know, no, that wouldn't even—I didn't even think about it. That was uh, no heavy heart there, man. But yeah, I love Kiss. I want to, and that you know, that would have probably been the the first show I would have been able to see. But uh, we'll have to wait a few more days. Guys, family first, business first. You know. All that stuff is first. This is just something to do for fun. And if anyone, that's how come I, that's how come I kind of mockingly laugh when I see people get all upset about what we do. I'm like, dude, you don't realize, you know, if you're getting upset about this, then you got issues, man. You, you, you are taking our show more seriously than we take it ourselves. Exactly. That, that's what it, that's what it comes down to. If, if you are more concerned about three sides of the coin. Mike's missing out. <laughs> and your family. Oh, I can see your video. I can see you guys on video. Um, you thankfully the rest of the audience can't see me. Uh, you know, if 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 you take this show so seriously above family and everything else that you're worrying about us every day, please. And I'm not saying this to mock you. Please, you need to change something because we're not that important. It's we're not even that fun. important to us. Again, yeah, we're just at, and Mark said it's bowling night. It's bowling. This is in the level of bowling. In your life, if you join a bowling league, this podcast is right there, okay? Yeah, you hold, and this is and this is just just so you guys understand. I'm going to be on time for bowling league. I'm going to bowl the best I can, and I want to come in first place. But it's still bowling league. You know what I mean? That's all. So to give you kind of a, a visual of this, bowling, kiss, three sides of the coin podcast, swinging. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and leave it to Tommy to bring it all back, right? So there you go. So we're done. And we uh, we're, do we're, 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 we're done. Yeah. You know, if, if, if this was a downer to you, so be it. Write this episode off as the complete train wreck we knew it was. But mm -hmm. this is just a few things that we had to say because things have just been getting crazy, crazy online, crazy in our world. And and just understand, you know, it's not that important to us. This is just fun. It's a band we love, and we're having a great time. That's all it is. This is not life and death. And, and a sincere thank you to each and every one of you that have joined us on this journey, that have helped to make this podcast so incredibly successful. Uh, that has not fallen on deaf ears, and we have not um, dismissed it. It's very important to us. You guys are very important to us, and we feel like we're a family, and we love speaking with you. We love seeing you in person. We love when you come up and talk to us at uh, shows that we're at and all that. So please continue to do so. Just always remember, it's just fun for us. No more, no less. There you go. So let's yeah. wrap this up because Mark's probably got to eat. He right? does. Third person. He does. <laughs> all right, so... You know what? This show was such a complete train wreck. I'm not even going to throw homework out there. 
No, I think the homework should be talk about anything you want. Okay. <laughs> well, also, also, if you're still here, remember, like we told you at the beginning, we had a guest on for a good half an hour. We were trying to get his Skype to work. So, I mean, this whole thing kind of when we it, it just became when we tried, you know, hanging up and restarting, and he did it was like a killer like episode. Second thought, like the afterthought. And oh, well, and, was, and 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 we could, and good. once again, we couldn't go to Izzy because he's still out on a cruise ship. <laughs> Oh, shut up, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. Izzy, why would we want Izzy? Oh, my Izzy? God, so then I was like the third person in line. Not in my heart, Lisa. Wow. No. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. He's really trying to... I don't come out of my pajamas just for anybody. Let, so let, let, listen. Right. But you know what? <laughs> Le- Le- Lisa, no. just... Lisa. I just, I, that was too easy. <laughs> was I know. Too- after I said it, I was like, bad. <laughs> Just so you know, and Lisa. Pajamas. I've seen them in person. <laughs> Lisa, yes, you have. Lisa, Mark. just so you know, when it was determined that that David wasn't going to work, I was the person that immediately jumped in and said, "Should I get Lisa?" So Thank you, I was thinking of you, Mom. Oh, well, thanks, son. I owe you. <laughs> all right. I so all, I was all snugly in bed, and I was like, "Ooh, ooh, they want me." They want me. <laughs> so I had to go get food though, but God, sorry. There, there you go. That that's the f- literally the fill-in episode with minutes notice because we had to reschedule the previous guest. Um, it was like a regular episode, but we were having problems with our guests' connection and not Mark's. Exactly, <laughs> the difference. Exactly. Hey, to be fair, it's been a while now. My no, you're you're. It's true. We, well, Gene sent you that new router. That's true. So I did get the the up oh, the do nine ninety five a week um, kiss router. So nice. So yeah, ho- homework homework wise, whatever you want to talk about, we don't care. Just yeah. go go to one of our social media channels. Just don't be a don't be a dick. Don't be a douche. Don't be an ass because we'll just gonna <laughs> kick you to the curb right away. It's not worth it. All right. All right. So, there you go. Three sides of the coin. We're out of here. We do have a guest next week. Won't spill the beans because every time we start spilling the beans, it seems like it. Jinxes beans get us. spilled. <laughs> All right, three sides of the coin. We're done. We're out of here. So you love the show? Go to iTunes.threesidesofthecoin.com and leave your review and rating of Three Sides of the Coin. Thanks. Take three sides of the coin with you anywhere. Download your five-star rated free smartphone app today and listen on your Android or Apple smartphone. Visit android.threesidesofthecoin.com or ios.threesidesofthecoin.com. Download your free free copy of the KISS School of Marketing. 11 Lessons I Learned Working with KISS. The number one downloaded business book on Noise Trade. Go to books.noisetrade.com slash Michael Brandvold. You're listening to Three Sides of the Coin. So you love the show. Go to iTunes.threesidesofthecoin.com and leave your review and rating of Three Sides of the Coin. Thanks.